a lot of records here. Uh, the chase will likely expand on. Daryl started fourth in that race when Bill ran 212. Yeah, well, qualifying at 210.4. Yeah, it was an incredible time in the sport. The cars were really amazingly fast for that time, like Chase said, and that's 1987. So what do you guys think that, that these cars would run today without a restrictor play? I mean, we know that's never going to happen because it would be too fast, but boy, I, I'd be fascinated to see it happen, you know, just one time, maybe in a, in a closed session. That'd be interesting. Probably over, I'd say somewhere over 230. <laughs> oh wow. Easily. First qualifier, and qual the qualifying order is set in the inverse order of practice speeds from yesterday. So this is DJ Kennington from St. Thomas, Ontario, driving for Marty Gaunt. And uh, Gaunt Brothers Racing, Triad CNC, in their Toyota, uh, looking for his second start. He started 28th at Daytona back in February, the sister track to Talladega. And look at him hug that yellow line through the corners. Yeah, Mike, he's only got two previous starts, Daytona, as you mentioned, and Phoenix, the other one. So this is his third attempt to make a cup race. See how it fares for him today. Now, the first four drivers to take time plus Corey LaJoy, who did practice and will roll off 11th. Of those five drivers, there are only four spots for those open cars, the non-chartered cars, in the 40-car starting field. So one of those will go home. And what you'll see, the, the, the get up to speed lap, the, the cars will run a much wider line. And then on this final lap, as you see here with DJ running right around the yellow line, uh, we believe it's about 250 feet difference and, and just let you get that momentum up to speed to get to that line as fast as you possibly can. 